All right, folks, welcome back. And we're going to be covering Awakened Chaos Era today on the recommendation of most of the, the raid community anyway. And a lot of people on my community page recommended I try it. So what I've done is I've actually played it for about three days now. Um, played quite a fair bit, but actually I'm quite enjoying it. So I wanted to give just a brief, um, not a review as such, just a brief uh, overview of what the game is and the potential things that you might like about it, especially if you've come from raid and I'll do a more detailed view once I'm like a couple of weeks in and I've, I've played a little bit more. So yeah, total beginner still, I'm only level 18. And yeah, on the whole, I'm actually really enjoying the game. If you enjoy Raid, it's basically, it's not the same, but it is the same. You know, it's, it's got a lot of similarities. Um, it's got a lot more content, I would say. So let's just quickly go through a lot of the basics of what the game is about. So it is a gacha game. If you're used to Raid, same kind of thing you have. Heroes, they're called Champions and Raid. Um, you've got a bunch of stuff here. They're all different rarities. They go from common to rare. Well, these are called rare, but the green's uncommon. I still call it the raid things. Uh, the blues are called elites instead of rares. Then you also get elites. Uh, sorry, epics, which is the purple. And legendary, which is the golden ones. So that's the kind of standard for these types of games now in terms of colors. We have the main kind of story is a campaign. Similar to Raid again, you go through, there's a normal, well sorry, common, hard, and then mythic I think is the final one. I have completed the whole of the common campaign, um, which was a little bit easy I would say. The, the hard one is proven to be a little bit more difficult, um, kind of similar to Raid's, to raids uh, difficulty levels, but nothing too crazy. The one thing about the campaign though is it does seem to touch on something a little different. There, there's a lot of... Uh, farm in the campaign for sort of materials and things like that whereas in raid it's purely just for experience for uh, for leveling champions so that's kind of cool um yeah there's just so much stuff in this game before i go into a few more of the the bits and pieces about it it's, it's kind of strange because like when raid was released um or even like summoners war or any of these gacha games they they didn't have a load of content in them to be honest they lacked content and it's brought in over time this game has been out for, oh, I believe, maybe a couple of months. Like I say, I wasn't really playing games for a while because it was super busy. But now that I've come back, you would think this game had been around forever, to be honest. But uh, it's hardly been out any time at all. And it's already loaded with all this crazy uh, amount of content. Which some people have said it could be a bad thing. But I honestly can't see how that's a bad thing. I think it's great. Um, there's an obscene amount. So apart from the, the adventure, which is the campaign, if you go into dungeons... You've got all these things down the bottom here. So you have your, this is just like tabs for dungeons. You want no man's land, which is effectively, if you come from raid, it's like farming potions. So these things are used to, actually, it's not really like farming potions because they, they sort of increase the ascension. This actually increases your skills. Um, so you can increase the level of your skills with these things here. They're all similar to raid again. It's done by color. And the colors rotate on certain days and two of them are open at one time the arcane dominator that's where you get your dungeons and again that's for for artifacts and you can see all the artifact sets we have down here um again there's quite a few artifact sets in this game which is pretty cool and some of them are really really good actually um so we've got five dungeons at the moment we've got the void tower now <laughs> we all know how long we waited for the doom tower with raid um so it's good to see that right off the bat. We've got common, then I can lock the hard, then the mythic. Apparently, I don't think anyone's actually completed the mythic yet. It's that hard, which is pretty interesting. I'm not done a lot of it yet, but I'm just working my way through it. So I'm on floor 27 of common, and there is, I believe, 100 floors. Yes, 100 floors, and I get to the boss. So it's going to take a little bit of time to do this. I don't know the full ins and outs of sort of time schedules and that, but it doesn't seem to have like a... I don't know if it's got a thing where it actually says it resets or anything like that, so I'm not sure. Again, I'm not an expert in this game yet. This is me a couple of days in. I just wanted to give you guys a brief overview, and then at the end I'll let you know if I think you should guys should be playing it anyway. Um, we've got Bounty Hunt as well, which is kind of cool. I think I'm up to stage 25 now. And you basically just get a target to kill, and you get rewards. You just fight them. It's fairly simple. Um, I don't know how far this goes again, but I believe it's maybe about 100 as well. I'm not totally sure. Um, dispatches. Well, I've just started doing these. These are like you put a team in and then you wait a certain amount of time, then you get the reward, similar to a lot of mobile games. So I've got four on just now. Um, and the better champions or heroes in this game that you put in, the more your success rate will percentage will be increased. So 
This is some my worst one, 65%, but um, I put better heroes in here, 74%, and some of the better ones in here, 86%, and the best ones are in here, 89%. So, um, so that's kind of cool. So rather than just clicking on dungeons and getting the, the sort of four or five dungeons, you've got a lot of stuff on here in the dungeon menu. You've got the arena, which is, is cool again. We've got similar to raid again ranks. So if we look at here, we've got a lot more ranks than raid. Um, we've got legend at the very top. We've got diamonds all the way down to platinums, down to golds, down to silvers, down to bronze. Um, so there's a lot of scope here. I've not properly delved deep into the arena, but as you guys know, this will be probably where I spend most of my time in the game if I continue to play it. Um, again, I'm just not hot up on exactly what how valuable a lot of the rewards are. Um, so uh, this is an ascension material for legendary heroes though, which I would imagine is pretty uh, pretty sought after. Um, battle history. Training, training is quite interesting. So if you do, you get arena tokens, same as everything else. I don't know if that's what they're called here. Arena passes they're called here. Uh, you get 10 and it regenerates over time. But if you maybe have a board here where you don't, have people or you maybe you don't want to actually play actual people for a bit you want to spend your tokens with someone else you can go to training and once per day or they're on a cooldown anyway you can challenge them and you'll get gems so you can actually get 50 gems per day by just doing the training here which is pretty cool it's another option uh, i'm going to go into the shop in a bit because i'm going to cover that soon uh, we've got like a glory path as well this gives you a bunch of rewards here um by the way those are basically chickens but they're called pumpkins in this game um Obviously, you've got a defensive team too. So, similar to Raiden this way, it's going to be a lot of um, setting up teams and things like that. Incidentally, you do have spells in this game, which is totally different, which is a really cool addition. So, these are uh, obviously abilities that you're just going to use before and after the, during the battle, sorry, depending on the cooldown. Um, they could be things like, you know, dealing AoE damage, um, healing members, you've got applies a stun, applies defense down on everyone. Grants a shield, uh, all the way to the last one here. Skips this character's turn and allows an ally to come first action in the queue. Removes all negative effects from the ally, which is pretty cool. So you can almost, you know, rather than using Arbiter and Raid to, to go first, you could use Arbiter to leapfrog your nuker first and then hit everyone, which is quite interesting, actually. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. That is the arena side of things. We've got a bunch of tabs under here. We've got the shop, guilds, guilds as usual. Um, which is the clan boss. You've got this funky looking dude, the banker, the clan boss. One thing I've noticed though is it's much, much quicker at this level anyway than clan boss and raid is. So I don't know what the score is when you get to top level, but hopefully it continues because I feel like raid has just gone too far into like taking an hour to do clan boss battles with no way of making it faster. Um, you can like assist as well. Totally not entirely sure how you do this yet, but uh, yeah, it certainly looks pretty interesting. Um, We've got quests here too. I literally, I haven't really delved into the guild stuff yet. So if you do play this game, leave in the comments below sort of tips for all that kind of stuff. Um, I did join a guild. I just joined a total random one. Uh, once I get into the game a bit more, I'll probably add some people um, from Raid originally and we'll see if we can make a, a decent little guild. So if any of you guys do want to invite to a guild to join, please leave in the comments below as well. And I could definitely uh, see if we can join up. You get like a guild vault as well. Oh, this is the shop. So we'll go. In fact, let's look at the shop right now because I think it's quite a big part of this game. Um, the shop is completely different. So this is the marketplace in Raid, but just infinitely better. So let's have a little refresh. I'll use 20 gems just for the video. So the shop has actually got really useful stuff. This is like um, material for leveling up. Uh, heroes skills so I just pretty much buy out the shop every time I see it scrolls are for glyphs we'll go into them in a second um, yeah like everything here apart from XP jelly that's the basically the bruise it's what you use to level your, your champions or heroes up the artifacts I don't tend to buy because they don't seem as good there's been a few that have come up that have actually been pretty useful that I've bought but that's kind of similar to raid in the fact that yeah you don't really buy them then we also have a diamond shop, so we spend our diamonds. Diamonds are much easier to get in this game. They are the gems. I seem to have loads already, and I've not spent money really much. I've bought the two passes, which we'll go into in a minute, and they seem really good value. But apart from that, I've not bought anything. Um, so we've got this lot here. We can get you know more double XP. 
we can get advanced summoning crystals but you get this stuff here which you can buy like on a time limit so i've got three days till it resets but we've got like meal coupons which is um more energy foodies which are little things you can level up to level up and ascend your heroes um well not ascend but to increase them from four to five star and five to six star again these are just pumpkins that do the same thing they're chickens special gear charms you have to level your gear up as well uh, so that's cool we've got a guild vault so you can buy cool stuff from the vault of the, the guild vault with guild tokens which you get from doing the guild boss uh, very cool again you can get again loads and different ways to get shards or chris summoning crystals they call them in this game which is really cool um yeah and some six star legendary artifacts as well and also fragments for legendary heroes again same idea in the arena shop you've got uh, fragments for legendary hero here you've got artifacts and um, stuff that raid has really been lacking on the whole time it's been around and this game just seems to have just chucked it all in right from the get-go which is pretty cool to see actually uh, it'll be interesting to see what they've got planned for the future because it's like they've thrown all their eggs in one basket already uh, the trial shop again we've got some nice epic shards here or i don't know what they call them synthesis um this is basically a sacred shard here ancient summoning crystals and yeah, you can see it, yeah, tokens, uh, pumpkins, sorry, more crystals, meal coupons, all this kind of stuff. And we've got event shop as well, so we've got loads of shops. I've actually got another one under here. Um, the events is stuff you do from your typical weekly events that come around and you can get more, more heroes, more uh, materials, things like that, which is very cool. Your hero essence shop, that's actually, you've got an altar where you can get rid of heroes and get materials here, which I haven't actually done yet, but again you can get some really cool stuff and i hear it's one of the best ways to get xp jelly in this game um yeah there's just so much stuff if you click on everything this is like your summon area um you can get this through here you've got advanced summons normal summons limited summons you can do 10 x's of all of them um if you click on the summon details this is one of the things that differs from from raid 2 is the the actual summon rates are a little bit better so you've got one percent on legendary heroes uh, light dark legendary heroes again are much lower but they are i'm gonna butcher it i don't actually know what they are yet because <laughs> i'm still roughly uh, new to the game so i haven't looked properly into that yet but i know they're, they're supposed to be better versions of them or something so uh, correct me if i'm wrong in the comments but that is that's is what i understand so far a uh, better rate for epics as well um which is pretty cool and it gives you a list of all the stuff you can get um, I think that's probably everything here. We've got Stardust, that's used to do the limited summons, and I think that's just like all these heroes that can be summoned from them. So you can kind of target uh, different heroes if you really want them using the Stardust. Um, you can access all of this stuff from in here. We've got a bunch of stuff here. Um, foodies Guide, that, that was the, the summon area. The Altar, that's actually what I was going to show next, because this is where you promote heroes you can do this through the actual hero section as well hero synthesis this is basically your fragments uh, or your fusions sorry from raid now it's great to see they've already got like four six seven just sitting there straight off the bat and a bunch of them are insanely strong i actually pulled this one already so i've got her she's not great but all two both of these ones are amazing these two guys are incredible i'm not too sure about these two i think he, he's pretty decent at the bottom um but yeah because you can see i've actually got all the uh the rare heroes to or i think they're called epic i always get confused in this game they're elites that's what they are all the elite heroes to level up because it says upgradable so i just need to level them up to ascended three star level 30 and i can synthesize this guy which is really cool and i can also work on getting the legendaries here so that's more stuff to do banishment this is where you can actually just banish heroes and get materials for them so I've got a common one here. If I banish him, I'll get 100 gold. Uh, and a really cool thing is if I banish the the rare heroes, which is the uncommon, the green, um, I'll start getting these materials, which I can use to do stuff. <laughs> I can't remember exactly what. I think it's like you can actually uh, use it to summon dudes or something. Again, still new to the game, but uh, there's a lot to take in on this game. Um, what's really cool to show you next? Yeah, you can just like click on hurry but random sort of okay, just stuff to do it's all quests so basically you've got the main sort of quests are over here the foodie guide the foodies the little sort of food thing i was on about earlier 
I'm only on stage 140, but it's, it's like the missions in in Raid. You've just got to work through and you get really good rewards from doing it. Um, it won't let me actually see what the rewards are in the top ones. Um, but I do get uh, a guaranteed legendary, basically, at the end of doing these ones, which is pretty cool. Um, again, if I click on here, this is just more champions you can now get, so it's just more quests. I've actually done the quest to get this guy, so I've got Connor. I've done the quest to get her, so I've got this epic. This guy here is like one of the best, if not the best epic in the game, so everyone can get him if you put the work in, which is brilliant. And she is pretty insane as well from what I hear. So that's really cool. That's going to take quite a while for me to do though. Um, what else? So will show you the shop events and we don't really need to explain them. We've got an event calendar that shows you all the stuff. It's, it's typical things like gear collection, enhancing gear, um, spend energy, things like that. And they're all pretty easy to get, to be honest. This this game, I guess, a lot of people want to know, it's a little bit... It can be a whale game, but it definitely feels like it's more of a sort of low to mid spender type game. Uh, I don't really see the advantage of spending an absolute fortune. And by fortune, I mean like raid style fortunes, like the guys that spend 100k and things like that um, on these games, which is absolutely insane anyway. Please guys, don't do anything like that. Um, I think I was watching one of Darth microtransactions videos and he'd spent about four or five grand on the game and he had a pretty stacked account. He had pretty much everything you could ever need in the game. So uh, to, to anyone that doesn't play gacha games, that sounds insane. Um, but to people that play them, the sad part of it is that's not really that bad. <laughs> it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty worrying actually that it's got to that stage. I won't be doing such uh, I'm skint these days. So I have bought the two passes. Uh, sorry. Not go to that one yet. I have bought the where are they now? Ah, yes, the bonuses. So there's like a silver and a gold card. They don't cost too much. You get twenty percent XP from battles and more gold from battles. And I think this one gives you like three hundred gems a day. This gives you a hundred gems a day, and you get like a bunch of gems to start with from just buying them. So you get a bunch of I keep calling them gems or diamonds in this game. You get a bunch of diamonds from doing it, and that pretty much beats any of these. Um, there's like a there's a shop, obviously, with games like this, um, but this, they're typical. They're not as expensive as Raid, nowhere near as expensive. Ah, here we go. So that's all the cards. Um, you've got, like, daily packs, limited packs, monthly cards. They are the best things. Um, diamonds, you can buy them, obviously. But I honestly would just recommend, if you're going to do it, keep it cheap. Just play this as sort of a monthly fee and look at that like a monthly fee to play the game. And you'll have more than enough resources to play the game as you would want to. Um, now it does have a battle pass again raid had a battle pass and never did it again because it broke the game this has had two i believe so far and it is well worth it it's not expensive it's i think it was about five or six quid and i got this guy who's insane he's one of the best legendaries in the game at the moment so that's pretty cool i've not finished it yet uh, you can use the free version and you'll get everything at the top here anyway so you're going to get some really good rewards but I would say it's definitely worth getting the paid version just for this dude anyway. Uh, although this does stop in five days, guys, so it's maybe a little bit late to be doing it. You get challenge quests, things like that as well. Now, one of the things I really like about this game is the fact that you can... It's a little bit more social. In fact, it's a lot more social than Raid. Raid's social element was built purely on Discord, and it's pretty amazing how well it's done because, like, you know, it's got a great community raid, and this one actually has... Da, 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 a friends list so you can add friends i have very little friends right now here is in reality row he's pretty much been my mentor i have been like streaming it for like two days and this guy's been on every time telling me exactly what to do so fair play to you but you can get up to what is three out of 50 looks like you can have 50 friends you actually get like friendship points uh whenever oh we're gonna go into this in a sec i don't want to ruin this um, search, you can just search players IDs and stuff or just random people to add so I can just send let's have a look, let's send this person a request um, application will be people that send ones to me and obviously block lists but this is really interesting so I can click on this guy and he can kind of show off his heroes in this little window here but his support hero this is a really cool thing about this game you can actually use your friend's support heroes to help you out and you can use them of a maximum, I believe, of three times a day. There you go. You get private chat as well. Again, much more social interaction than Raid. Tells you about all this progress. Um, what is all this stuff? I've not even looked at this yet. But it just tells you exactly where he is on all of these things. So 
in these dungeons, these stages, he's on the hard floor of Void Tower, really cool. Um, but say I was going to go into an adventure, uh, let's go into this one, and I was struggling with this part of the adventure, which is the campaign. Um, so I'll take away these guys, I can go to support heroes, and in reality he's got this beastly, I've actually got Natalia, but he's got a much better version of her than me. So I can use her, and that says 0 out of 3, so I've got 3 times to use her per day. And you know, so you could add some really, really high level players, maybe you've got friends that have been playing longer, and you get stuck in a bottleneck, which is really frustrating in these games. You can just get out of it quickly with some of this, which is very, very cool addition, I believe. It makes it pretty, pretty social again. Again, if you're going to be in a good guild, it's going to be worth adding everyone as a friend, then you can kind of swap heroes about. Um, definitely a very cool addition to the game. Um, I don't know if there's a way. That's what the assist thing, I don't even know how the assist thing works. I'm going to have to look into this, guys. Uh, I've not even looked into it properly, but for the next video, the proper in-depth review, I'll, I'll know absolutely everything about it. And I think that's pretty much everything that I'm going to speak about just now. There's a hell of a lot more um, that I haven't even checked out. Uh, oh yeah, Covenants, that's just the things we've already looked at. Just trying to think if there's anything we've really missed in. Obviously, like seven-day sign-in, daily check-ins, all that kind of carry on. Uh, I think you'll all know what that is. Um, yeah, I think that's about it, guys. Uh, let me know in the comments below if any of you guys are actually playing this game, what you guys think of it. Um, in terms of the visuals, I guess, that's the next big thing. It's pretty damn cool. Uh, they do have some pretty cool... I like this guy. He's apparently not the best legendary to pick. Because, um, actually, that's one thing I forgot to say. At, like, the first level of the campaign, you actually get to pick a legendary hero, and some of them are, like, the best ones in the game. So, I mean, I've been playing this for three days, and you can see I've got three legendaries, so it's nothing like Raid. You're going to get stuff much cheaper, much quicker, but then it seems to kind of level off to a point then where you've still got the grind afterwards, so it's, it's pretty well engineered in that way. Whereas Raid, you could be playing for, like, six months without getting a legendary, to be brutally honest. Um, so, but yeah, artwork and stuff is great, graphics are great. It's a different style than Raid, there's a little bit more cartoony, which I don't normally like, but I think it's got enough of like, the good fantasy element you can see. It's not like Super World of Warcraft cartoony, which is okay as well, and I suppose it is more like that, but yeah, it's like a mix in between, they've got some pretty cool characters in here, um, and definitely... Definitely some decent graphics. Um, the actual plane of it as well. We'll just go on a, one quick adventure. Let's just go to this one that I was doing. The wind silence everything. Um, it's slightly different angles, you see. So I've just got it on auto here. I can turn it off auto. But you do actually get um, pretty cool animations for, for the fights here. So let's, this is like an ultimate skill. And this is like the, I think this is the passive skill. And that's like the A1 in, in range. Just his basic attack. But when I use the ultimate ability, you get pretty cool stuff like that. Let's just auto it. So you can see she hits pretty hard. Blows them all up when I want her. Um, so yeah, it looks really cool. So it goes, it goes this kind of side-on angle for a little while. Um, check him out, he's pretty cool. But then, when you fight a boss, it like turns around to the sort of typical raid angle. Which is kind of cool, so it gives it a different a depth, uh, field depth. Uh, this is actually a boss here, but not like a, a main boss, so it doesn't turn the angle on this one. But you definitely get the idea. Yeah, this is the, the faster version of it, so I can make it slower so you can see more of what's going on here. But why would you? Because that will take fucking ages, so make it faster. Keep it on auto. This is your turn here, so you can see who's going next. So you can alter that with speeds, same as raid. And you've got like debuffs and buffs all the way up here. Um, and these are abilities that the enemy have. This, I don't entirely know what that is yet. I think that's just to block people. Uh, I don't know yet. I'm going to find that out too. And yeah, we'll just let this one finish out. I mean, this is a fairly easy one. I'm well past the stage now, but it is quite a difficult game. There's a lot of strategy when you get to the, the higher levels, especially with like guild boss and you know, just as we expect in, in a gacha game like this. Um, so yeah, that is it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And yeah, we managed to do a review on this this infamous game that's coming out just now. It's definitely given Raid the biggest run for its money I've seen since Raid's been out, I think. 
Raid's dominated the gacha market for ages, and I've tried so many different gachas that have come out just out of interest, really. Uh, not that I was looking for something else to play, but I just wanted to see what the competition was like. And there's been one or two that, that kind of got me excited. I really like Gemstone Legends, but I think that kind of had a, a limit because there's a lot of people that didn't kind of like the graphics and didn't like the style of it. I really liked it. I thought it was very cool. But this would appeal to the masses more, as you can see. It's much more much more appealing to most people, I think. And it does have a lot of amazing content. Touch wood, I haven't encountered too many bugs or anything yet, which is really cool. Um, developers, I don't know much about them, but I believe they kind of have lots of different companies. They might be a little bit shady, but they can't be as shady as Playroom, let's be honest. So I'll take anything just now. Um, it doesn't seem to be too crazy expensive for, for a mobile game. Um, and yeah, seems seems promising so far, so I'm definitely going to give it a go. Make sure you send me a friend request. If you just um, if I go here, you can look at my code here, or you can just add me via I am Steaming, and then you can use my support hero, which is my Natalia as well, who's pretty awesome. Um, I actually should probably fill that up at some point. Uh, oh, let's put my guy in here. He's cool. So yeah, that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Really helps me out and have a great day guys. Peace.